he is back. Hold on. <laughs> Ranger Nick kicks off his first segment of 2015 talking about an animal that I'm sure many of us find uneasy on the eyes. This is actually a pretty fun shoot, I gotta admit. Yeah, but despite their appearance and the things they eat, yeah. vultures, says Ranger Nick, have a much needed place in our society. I know. I know what you're thinking. You're telling me I stuck around until the end of the show to watch this guy this month and he's going to talk about vultures? You're absolutely right we are. And notice that I didn't say buzzards. I said vultures. They really get offended at that. Buzzards are actually birds that live over in Europe. We're going to talk about two different kinds of vultures this month, black and turkey vultures, the differences between them and what this world would be like without them. They are critical. Okay, so in Vultures 101, let's talk about the differences between turkey vultures and black vultures. If you're living in the southeast, chances are you're seeing both of them, but you're probably seeing more black vultures than turkey vultures. Black vultures, completely blackhead, and notice that it's, it's bald. And bald is beautiful in the vulture world. So black vultures, completely blackhead, and if you see them flying, the tips of their wings have little white feathers, white little fingertips on the edges of their wings. And they typically will fly, flap, 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 soar, flap, 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 soar. Sounds kind of like a song. Turkey vultures, on the other hand, completely reddish colored head, like a turkey, white tip on the end of their beak, and their body much bigger than a black vulture's. Turkey vultures will soar on the thermals in the sky, flapping very little, while a black vulture will flap, 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 kind of like that. Both are very, very common throughout the southeast, but if you're down in the south, black vultures are going to be the ones that you're going to see more often. And when you see them, you're going to see them together because they're very much a community kind of a bird. They're going to work together because, believe it or not, turkey vultures have much better sense of smell than black vultures do. So black vultures are kind of lazy. They're going to look for turkey vultures, and where there are turkey vultures, black vultures will be there. Black vultures do not have a very good sense of smell at all, but both have that completely bald head. And what a great addition in an ecosystem to be cleaning up all that carrion. So let's carry in to the next topic. Okay, so maybe I've convinced you that they're a pretty cool bird, black vultures, turkey vultures, but why are we talking about them? What would the world be like without these guys? Well, just imagine all of the dead animals you may see driving down the road, all of the things that die in the environment, even when we put turkey and chicken litter out on our fields to fertilize that ground, all those scraps of those parts of those bodies, those vultures are eating that and taking care of all that potential disease that could be in the ecosystem. That disease can impact not only deer and other wildlife, but it can impact us. And so without those birds, our health and safety would be jeopardized. A critical animal to have in the environment. Okay, so black vulture, turkey vulture. Let's see you see one of these guys and you're wanting to come up on it and kind of get a closer look. Let's start from the feet and work our way up to the head. First of all, these guys are standing flat-footed on the ground. They are not at all like an owl, a hawk, falcon, or eagle with talons and feet that can grip. Their feet are flat, and they don't have very much gripping power at all. In fact, they're more similar to a stork than anything. You'll find that their feet and their legs are white, and that is no coincidence because those birds will actually poop on their legs. Not only does that cool their legs as that evaporates and, and acts as a cooling effect, but it also, that uric acid in their body, goes down on their legs and actually cleans their legs. Because if you think about it, they're standing in dead stuff all of the time. So that uric acid is burning away bacteria and helping to keep them really clean. So moving our way up the body a little bit more, they're black in color. So you've got something that attracts sunlight, and often you'll see a black or turkey vulture sitting in the sun with their wings wide open. They're not just doing that waiting for a hug from somebody. They're doing that to attract ultraviolet rays, and those ultraviolet rays burn away bacteria because they're always around dead stuff. Pretty cool fact. Work your way up to their head and their neck. Their neck is actually a lot longer than it seems on their body, but their head is completely bald. Their head is inside of a dead animal, getting out all that good stuff that they want to eat. And if you notice their beak, their beak is long with a little hook on the end, and their nostrils are way up their beak. Because I don't know about you, but I hate to get food in my nostrils. It's never any fun. So they are able to breathe when their beak is inside of something and eating. Incredible stuff, but I gotta tell you, don't get too close when you see them out in the wild because the way that they defend themselves, projectile vomiting. Up to six feet from their body. 
Well, man, this has been a great time again with you. Kicking off the 2015 season of Ranger Nick, talking about something that maybe I've convinced you is a lot more beneficial than maybe you thought at the top of the segment. Well, I'll tell you what, we have got a brand new way to keep in touch over this next year. I have finally joined the rest of the world and started a Facebook page. So you can go onto Facebook and look for Ranger Nick on Facebook. And while you're on there, if you want to go to my page and like that, go on to the Georgia Farm Monitor page and like that. We're both linked in there. Ask me questions, post things and ideas that you got. Man, what a cool way for us to keep in touch all over the country when we get a chance to get together. Well, I tell you what, enthusiasm is contagious. And like I always say, we want to pass it on. And in this next year, I can't wait to spend more time with you. For the Georgia Farm Monitor, I'm Ranger Nick. Have a great rest of the month. We'll see you right back here next time. See ya.